Welcome guys to this video where I will show you and I will teach you how to detect scam coins using Morales money. Well, it will take more than this video and nothing we say or show is financial advice or 100% certain, but it will probably help you at least a little bit along the way. Firstly, we need to understand that scam coins are everywhere. And before we even start discussing that, we need to be clear on one thing. What is a scam coin? Because I think that depends. Any coin out there could in theory be a scam. And there are many factors that play into that. Some would even label all altcoins that aren't Bitcoin as scams, but that's not what we're about here. We look at the actual risks associated with the coin and with its smart contract and judge them by that. And today I will show you exactly how we do that and what parameters we look at. And with that said, let's actually take a look at different coins to determine their scam possibility using Morales money and other tools. Now, if you're new to Morales money, you haven't used that before, you don't even know what that is. Morales money is the tool for finding altcoins early and it will help you find great coins while reducing the risk of being scammed. And I've added the correct link in the description below because it's so easy for phishing attacks today that you might click on the wrong link. Make sure you scroll down to the description below this video, click the correct link and get started using Morales money today. Let's jump straight into it. And when you're using Morales money, you can add metrics and filters and you will see these results with the coins that meet your conditions. But how do we know if these are scams or not? There's something called a DEXT score and we can actually add it right here as a security score. I'm going to do greater than let's say 87 and run this query. So we will see the tokens that match these two criteria right here. But even now, how do I know which one is a scam and which is not? And what the heck is this a DEX score, right? So DEX score is something from uh, DEX tools and it measures all the information we get from the blockchain and from some external information sources to measure the confidence of a project. And this ranges between one and 99, 99 being the highest one. And they look at things such as uh, social information uh, obtained from Etherscan and BC Scan, for example, and other stuff, other parameters. So pair liquidity, number of transactions, number of token holders, and so on and so on. And I will show you a little bit more what that actually means and how you can use Morales money to check that out. So let's actually start with the first one. It has 99, so that's pretty good. It was minted eight days ago. So let's go into that specific coin and we can get even more data right here, right? We have the graph and we even have these bubbles and we all love bubbles. So, but let's focus on the DEX score. And we have this right here where you want to get as many green ones as possible that's gonna give you higher dex score but what does this really mean so you have buy and sell tax in this case it's 100 percent, so that's actually not that good and that reflects on the graph as well i would say then you have honeypot and you can hover these question marks to get even more data about these specific metrics so mintable it's if a token is mintable new tokens can be created by the issuer um, you can have for example if the buy is available available and yes, it is in this case, but you can get even more information about these metrics if you co go to dextools.io and we can expand this to see all the metrics and maybe go through at least a few of them. So for example, honeypots that we saw earlier, honeypots are scams that allow investors to purchase tokens, but disables the functionality of selling those by specifying a few certain addresses that can sell. This leads to investors holding uh, tokens uh, worthless tokens while the price moves up so make sure you check for red flags for example only buying transactions no selling ones and then we also have for example we can take a look at blacklisted and blacklisted is if the contract has the ability to blacklist wallets or transactions and this is a major risk for the creator to manip manipulate the market of uh, the smart contract and then the buy and sell tax which we saw earlier it's a hundred percent you want this essentially to be as low as possible. 100% is the worst thing because you're giving away all your money to the contract, which means that the creator can later on withdraw everything. But make sure you also check tax modifiable. And this is no in this case, so that's good, but still it's bad because it's 100. But if this is yes and these two are zero, 
um, you need to be cautious because this can change whenever without you even noticing it and then you will lose most of the money again and I also like to check the uh, owner of the address because uh, if the smart contract has been burned then it most of the time means that no changes can be made so that's a bit of security on your side to have uh, after you check all these metrics and if you're still unsure you can scan even more so you can use in this case token sniffer and get their opinions on it their uh, thoughts on it and their score on it so it might differ from dex tools but that's only good because you get different opinions and in here we can see they're giving it a hundred of a hundred so that's pretty good as well now let's go back to morales money and go back to token explorer let's do coin age once again i'm gonna do less than 10 days and i'm gonna add um, security score less than let's say 30 to see what we're getting right here so some of them don't even have a dex score yet so let's do uh let's do greater than i don't know 25 maybe just to get something in between this range and we can see right here we're getting 26 uh 26 skeletor now what the heck is this i have no idea but the liquidity is growing amount of holders is growing slowly but steadily <laughs> i think but the graph isn't the best and yeah it has 26 index score so that's not very high and maybe we can see why so if we go to dex tools right here and have in mind that it's not only about these metrics right here they also take a look at liquidity pairs uh, social media and that kind of stuff as well so it takes much more than just these metrics even though they have so many green ones you might ask yourself okay so why is this this low uh, they have only 188 holders uh, that's not good only 200 transaction that's not good either so there you have it i hope you enjoyed this quick little video of me showing uh, the dex score how to have different metrics for uh, finding possible scam coins and avoiding them and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel let me know in the comment section below if you want to see another video of something else of me using morales money and i will see you in the next one